Today's video is about using your foot to help your knee control. Now, what I mean by that is, we're gonna teach you some things to do with your feet when you're squatting, single leg squatting, deadlifting, whatever you're gonna do to try and keep your knee in line with your foot and not let it roll inwards. Now, that rolling in stuff is very common. Now, we've done lots of videos on knees rolling in, how it's about the hip control and the glutes. Now, some people struggle. I've got a patient at the moment who's had a lot of foot problems, ankle, actual ankle problems down in here that's affecting all of his ankle and now we're working on that but because of that he's getting a lot of glute problems so those two things are obviously are clearly related but a lot of people tend to focus on the hip and the glutes and that's great because we're now sort of trying to control the knee from the hip but also you can there's things you can do in the foot that help as well and some people really respond to the feet movements to help their glutes fire, which also helps their, keeps their knee in line. Now it's really simple. What I want you to try doing, next time you're squatting, or next time you're trying to do single leg squats for knee control, maybe you're a runner, someone who needs to control this knee, maybe it's post-surgical, I want you to think about when you have your feet in line, and make sure they're in line, not out like this. Okay, so in line. I want you to think about your feet screwing into the ground. Okay, so if this foot here, look at my right foot, want you, what I want you to think about is it turning outwards, okay, as though I can sort of move my foot. If you watch my foot in my shoe, and I'll take my shoe off in a minute, if you watch my foot, I'm sort of trying to turn it outwards, okay, so I'm sort of externally rotating, if you like. Now, what that's going to do, if I externally rotate the foot, it's going to turn my knee out, okay, so if you're one of those people who's rolling in, maybe you're pronating and letting your foot collapse, Okay, if you externally rotate that foot, it'll help bring that knee out. Okay, now what you've got to think about is think about screwing your foot into the ground or pretending if you could move the ground with your feet. So what I mean is your movement's going to go that way. Okay, so from that way to there without moving your foot. What I don't want is you twisting your foot outwards because that's cheating. You try and twist your foot outwards to rotate your knee out. It's just facing out that way, and then you're not in alignment, okay? So this point here, if you can keep your big toe in contact, okay, and your fifth toe, and just twist your foot like that, you'll actually work on raising your arch a little bit, which also helps, because if your arch is collapsing, that's going to roll your knee in. So if you can actually think about twisting that foot out, if you imagine, I'll give you another example, there's my foot, okay, if you look at that, I'm going to twist my foot. Now, can you see what happened to my elbow? The same thing happens. And that's why we sort of teach people in push-ups is to try and, okay, screw your hand into the ground. So I externally rotate. And what it does, it does external rotation up through the chain. So I'm going from my wrist, my ankle, okay, through my elbow, my knee, to my shoulder, my hip. Okay, you go, you're doing that movement. So it externally rotates the whole lower limb, which helps you fire your hip. And there's the activation, the control. We talk a lot about pushing through heels, especially on things like lunges, where we come down and we push through the heel to try and activate that posterior chain. Now, what you can do is think about, well, if I push through my heel, but I also twist and just get some torque into that foot. So when I come down, I'm active through that whole foot. I'm not letting it collapse and let my knee roll on it. I'm, I'm twisting it outwards, but keeping my foot straight. And then I drive up through that chain. It makes a very stable platform for the foot. Now, if you've got a more stable platform there, you're going to have way better activation up here in the hip. Okay, so if you imagine when I'm squatting, if I take both shoes off, when I'm squatting through here, I want to twist both feet in so they are straight, my knees come out, now don't overcook it. When you, if you find you're doing this, all you're doing is just leaning on the outside of your, of your feet. Now, I caught this out with one of my patients last week as he was trying to get his knees out, and all he was doing was just loading up the outside of his arches. So he was actually just lifting up and rolling out. Now, that's what we don't want. We want a torque, a twist like that, an external rotation twist, and then you feel very solid through those feet. So when you go through your squat, okay, you're all connected in a line. So a single leg squat, Admittedly, it's a little bit harder. You might have to start off by putting your hand against something and really work on getting that twist going without your knee rolling way out there, keeping that foot in contact with the ground, get that external, external rotation twist, and then go through your movement 
Once you've got that foot position, then take your hand away and try and maintain it and try and keep that knee nicely in line. I know it's a bit complicated, but it really, really works for people who have problems with pronation, knees rolling in, poor glute activation. Give that a shot. See you next time.